Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to go and tell you guys my five tips to go and prepare for the Overwatch launch, which is just about a week away. My first tip is find which package you want to go and buy. In order to go and play the game, you've got to first go and buy the game. And there is three choices. You've got the Standard, the Origins, the Collector's Edition. And most people are going to go with the first option, the Standard, which is just the base game. But to get the cheapest price possible, if you want a physical copy, go out to a retailer like a Targ or a JB Hyper and EB Games and buy it there. But if you want it online, go and have a look at CD Key sites and they will sell it for very, very cheap. My second tip is to update your graphics card drivers. For most major titles, Nvidia and AMD put out launch day graphics card updates. Overwatch will be the same, which will include important optimizations in order to get the best performance from your graphics card. Same goes with hardware for your mouse and keyboard. I know Razer has an update where if you change your class in Overwatch, it will go and change the color of your mouse, you know, corresponding to the hero that you're playing, which is pretty cool in my opinion. Now tip 2.5 is a going up your digital vibrance. Digital vibrance is basically the saturation of your screen. On default settings, 50%, everything is washed out and bland, but crank it up to 80% and there will be a guide in the description below to do that for Nvidia and AMD graphics cards and Overwatch will look like a completely new game. The animated art style and the colourful map sync so well with the really, really high digital vibrance. And I know people that crank it up to 100%. Personally, I have it around 75 to 80% and the game looks absolutely beautiful. Tip 3. Watch guides on YouTube to learn the best heroes. There is an extremely strong YouTube community already built up for Overwatch and there is a ton of guides for basically every hero in the game. Learning the tips and tricks for each hero will be the key to dominating at launch day, so make sure to go and get the edge. I'll put a link to my couple favourite YouTubers in the description below as well. Tip 4. Watch all the Overwatch animated shorts. Now, Blizzard is absolutely genius. They've gone and created these mini movies, 8 to you know, 10 minute movies, that are just a wonder to go and watch. And if you haven't seen them, you don't know what you're missing out on. They have creative story storytelling, fantastic action sequences. It seems like Blizzard could actually go and make a full-on movie around the Overwatch universe if they really wanted to. At the moment, there are two shorts, Alive and Recall. But by the time this video is released, there should be another one called Dragon, and I am completely, completely hyped, so make sure to go and check those out as well. Tip number five, cry and wait for the game to go and come out. At the time recording, there is nine days until Overwatch goes and comes out. That is nine days too long, and I don't know what I'm gonna go and do with my life. So, what I'm probably gonna go and do is get all of my university work done so I can go and smash out the first day of Overwatch with peace of mind that I don't have any assignments that are due. But saying that, what are you guys gonna go and do? Post it in the comment section below and I'll definitely go and have a read of them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this commentary. If you did, make sure to go and give it a like rating. But other than that, Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, out.